Hey everyone, welcome to Post to Post. Welcome to Flight Sim. We're going to fly over Chicago, but more specifically, try and find the United Center of the Chicago Blackhawks. Now, I've done most of the teams in the NHL so far. If you haven't seen them, please go check them out on the channel. We're going to continue on with the NHL, finish off the NHL, and then move on to other leagues, NFL, MLB, NASCAR, uh, NBA, and maybe jump over to Europe and look at some, some, you know, from some football stadiums and who knows where we'll land the rest of this year. So if you're new, we'd love to have you on board. Our objective here is to find hockey logos, hockey graphics, hockey posters, anything to do with the NHL on the United Center itself. This is not an educational video. I'm not here to teach you anything. I'm educating myself. I'm just flying for fun. You guys are just on for the flight with me. I do not know where the arena is in relation to the city. This is an adventure, an exploratory mission. I have to say that every video because there's interesting comments sometimes. You might notice that if you know if you're coming back for every one of these videos, you might notice that we're not in the F-18 anymore. Uh, I've actually purchased a specific plane for maybe the rest of the series or maybe just this video, depending on how it goes. Let me zoom out. Hold on. Yeah, there we go. Let me zoom out. Leave your guesses down below in the comment section. I'm going to switch to the outside view. Boom. That is a Spitfire. Hold on, let me change the camera. That is a Spitfire. You might ask yourself, Neil, why why would you buy a Spitfire? You know, a plane from World War II. What's, that's way less exciting than an F-18 fighter jet that's modern, modern. And, uh, you know, it's fast. Well, the Spitfire is fast as well, but it also has a very personal meaning to me as well. On my arm is a literally tattooed a uh, Spitfire. My grandfather flew Spitfires in World War II. Uh, for the um, RAF, and uh, they have a special place in my heart, so I had to purchase the, uh, had to purchase the plane. Let's reset. Sorry, I need to reset my view. Zoom back out. I have not flown this plane before. This is literally the first time I've loaded in this game with this plane. Oh my goodness, what is going on? What is that? Not quite sure I understand that, but. Hey, here we are. What is going on? Um, okay. Let's get loose again. Okay, we got loose. Is that a characteristic of this plane that I'm not aware of? Okay, oh my goodness. That was that was an interesting adventure. Is the trim off or something? Like what's going on here? Is it really just this squirrely? Let's put our landing gear up, that's for damn sure. Alright, well there we go. We're still full throttle. I don't know how I made it out of that, but I did. Now here's the view, here's the good view. Alright, this is the good stuff right here. If I was flying this plane. Not in the video for you guys, this is the view that I will be using. But uh, for the purpose of this video, let's switch to this one because you guys can so you guys can see and whatnot. We're looking for the United Center. I might have to do some aerobatics in this uh, in this video as well. Maybe not right away here, but maybe at the end. I need to see what this plane can do. Alright, that seems pretty accurate as far as uh, timing and stuff. All right, United Center, where are you? I feel like it's probably not super downtown. So I might bank off here just to the left a little bit. You can see Chicago in the background. We'll take a flight over the arena, see any, see if we can find anything on the arena. Uh, we'll do a pretty fast pass, basically as fast as we can. We're doing about 230 knots at the moment. And then we'll maybe do a loop around the city just for some sightseeing. And then we'll come back over the arena and then go into drone mode, take our time, methodically look around the arena and see what we can find. But I'm pretty sure I, I spotted it from far away. I can't imagine it's anything else because it looks like an arena from very far. It's round. It's different colorization than most of the other buildings. So logic tells me that that is likely an arena or a stadium of some kind. We're going to check it out, obviously. So clearly this is not the, you know, 650 knot uh, F-18 it's taking us a little bit longer than it normally would to find an arena or to get to a specific location. Look, I can see the logo already on top. That is amazing. Don't see anything on the side. 
Beautiful logo on top. Don't see anything on the side there either. Let's bank off to the right. If I'm not mistaken, the Spitfire had a bit of an issue where it couldn't go upside down for too long because of, a, I, think, I don't know if it's a fuel pump issue, but it would cut the engine out completely. I think they eventually fixed it. But, uh, you know, more often than not, likely going upside down during combat. Kind of a big deal issue to have. Not too bad. Let's reset the camera here. Let's do a little bit of dangerous flying. Oh yeah, dangerous flying. So there we go. Seeing a little bit of Chicago. That's pretty cool. I've not been to Chicago. One of those cities that, you know, I've always wanted to visit. I hear incredible things about. Uh, it's absolutely beautiful and stunning in every photo that I see. But it's, um, you know, it's a place I've never been. And that's a bit of a shame. I'd love to visit there someday. Is this Sears Tower or Willis Tower, whatever it's called now? This must be it. Yeah, that must be it. I actually remember flying, um, hello, I remember flying around that building back in like Flight Sim 2000 when I was in high school. Classic. Okay, let's find that arena again and let's actually maybe accomplish the mission of this entire video. Actually, let me reset this a little bit. I'm kind of feeling a little bit dangerous and I want to do something. Sorry if, you makes this queasy. Sorry if this makes you queasy. But I had to do it. All right. Let's dive down and let's see this thing. Now that this plane's in the air, I like it a lot. That takeoff, highly questionable. Drone mode. Boom. Let's go. So right away, logo on top of the arena. That's a massive win. Good job um, on that. Love to see it. Don't see any Chicago Blackhawks logos or posters or anything. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the United Center actually has, in real life, Quite a bit of like posters and, and, and graphics that come down now i have spotted a chicago blackhawks logo i'm not sure if you spotted it i've also spotted a chicago bulls logo can you see it well down here there looks to be something i don't even know what that is it looks like a utility trailer that's been painted or something like that. i don't even know what that is but over here that is a chicago blackhawks logo it doesn't look like it because it's very pixelated but it 100 is a chicago blackhawks logo so technically, we've accomplished a mission here. And over here, that is the Chicago Bulls logo. It doesn't look like it, but from far away, you can kind of see it. But let's check uh, this side. Nothing. Nope, nothing there. Okay, this is as fast as I can go in drone mode that I'm aware of. I'm playing the PC version. I have the Xbox version as well, but it's just easier for me to record this video. And... Uh, play the game at the same time on uh, PC. Okay, what's going on over here? Hold on. Are you telling me that you're not going to put a Chicago Blackhawks logo on here, but you're going to put a giant Twitter logo? Are you nuts? No way. So we got a Twitter logo, but not a Chicago Blackhawks logo. But I will say that I think that right there could be the Chicago Blackhawks logo. I don't know for sure, but it kind of looks like it, like a little bit. And over here is probably the Chicago Bulls logo, because it's kind of red. Kind of see some horns, maybe. So I guess we'll count that as a bit of a win. But still, the, the, the biggest logo on your arena should not be the Twitter logo. Now, on this side, I don't think there's anything, because I think this is where we started the drone. Yeah, no. Nothing on that side. Uh, Actually, that's a lie. Hold on. That's a lie. That's another Chicago Blackhawks logo right there. Boom. Got him. Okay. Let's get out of this. How's my throat? Yeah, 272 knots. Okay. We're still good to go. So, let's do some possible maneuvers here. Let's stall this thing. Oh, down to about 60 knots airspeed. We're starting to stall. And we have stalled. We have officially stalled. Coming back down. Get, get control again. Get up some airspeed. Boom. We're back in business. 
that is fun. Things might get a little woozy here, okay? So if you're if you get queasy, easy. Eh, interesting. Um, you might want to tune out here, or maybe skip ahead. But we're gonna do some possible low flying over Chicago here to see what uh, see what we can do, see what happens here. We might crash this thing, but you never know. Oh, I don't think I don't think we're gonna make this. Oh, I gotta save. I gotta go back. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Getting dangerous in here. I don't even know what's on the other side of these buildings. We just gotta risk it. Right up this waterway. But I have no idea if this is a river. No idea what it's called. Very unique. I always see pictures of that from Chicago. It's like, man, that looks so cool. I wish I could go visit there. All right, well, that was relatively successful flying through the city. Uh, I mean, I guess we're not done, but we didn't crash right away, so I'm going to count that as a win. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, I spoke almost too soon. Okay, so let's <laughs> let's land this plane. Now, this is going to be adventure. This is probably what a lot of people are waiting for because, newsflash, I'm not a great pilot. Additional newsflash, I'm not good at landings. So with the F-18, a little tricky. But we got a bit of a, we got a tail dragger here. So I don't have a lot of experience in uh, in flight sim games landing planes like this. And uh, this is the first time I've flown this specific plane, as you can tell from the takeoff. So this is going to be an interesting adventure trying to land this thing, but I'm actually feeling pretty good about it. I think we'll be okay. Flaps. Got the flaps down. We're going to lose some airspeed here because of that. I don't see the runway I see it but I don't know I can't see the uh the proper approach oh actually we're pretty much right on it aren't we okay that works for me so I'm doing full throttle here in full throttle I got flaps deployed let's bring up the landing gear we're gonna lose some more airspeed air because of that at least we should if this is realistic yeah we're losing some airspeed Coming in at a fairly decent pace, I feel. Okay. Looking good. Sorry, I'm just con should be talking and trying to entertain you guys, but I'm I'm very concentrated at the moment. I want a good approach for this one. I right, this would be highly risky if I tried to land in this view first time. So we're gonna go. Actually, gonna come down a little bit like this because I really need to see the wheels here for this one. But at the same time, I can't see the runway. Okay, we're, we're looking pretty good. Looking pretty good, not bad. We're a little low. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to concentrate. I might actually do this next part in silence because I literally cannot do two things at once. So embrace the silence with me. Cross your fingers, get your popcorn. Here we go. Getting close. I can't see the runway. And that's the same thing when you land this plane in real life. Oh, I'm a little high right here. It's okay. We got it, we got it, we got it. A little high. Coming down. We're good. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. Oh, 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 fail. Oh, I still, oh my God, I didn't change my throttle. And it also froze. Number one, didn't change my throttle. Number two, game froze. Oh, brakes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at that. You see those sweet moves I had? Those were sweet. Okay, so you're just going to be stuck on the ground. That's cool. Okay, I was trying to concentrate so hard on trying to be lined up uh, with a good approach that I uh, I totally forgot to cut throttle. And as soon as the, the wheels landed, I'm like, 
I'm an idiot. <laughs> but that was uh, that was an interesting adventure. I think the next time we do this, hopefully the landing will be a little bit better. I've learned some very crucial lessons here. So thank you, Blackhawks fans, for watching this video. I appreciate it. Thank you. Anyone else who's watched this, whether you're a Flight Sim fan or just a general hockey fan, coming back for every one of these videos. I thank you so much. If you're new, please consider hitting the subscribe button to catch all these videos coming basically on a daily basis now. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for the time out of your day. If you did enjoy this video, please hit the like button. I'll catch you later. Adios. Thank <laughs> you.